jacket, I agree. While you guys are joining in live, make sure you subscribe to AfterBuzz TV. We love hearing all of your comments. And during our live chat with Casey, we want to know any questions that you guys have. So make sure in our chat room that you have uh, list any questions that you guys may have. And before we dive into uh, this lovely interview, let's go into some housekeeping stuff. Yeah, some housekeeping stuff. That so, was a whole roundabout sure way was. that I didn't really practice it, but I just kind of went with it. But housekeeping. Uh, like, I'll keep it. <laughs> Let me get my reading voice on. <laughs> so, uh, we love hearing from you. And we really, actually, we really, 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 really do. And so does After Buzz TV. So, we keep, keep on saying those tweets and comments. We do read all of them. I mean, seriously, all of them. So, but don't miss a chance to take our very important listener survey on podcast.com. That's podcast, one word. Oh, excuse me, podcast1.com, excuse mm -hmm. me. And that's one word, podcast1.com. The responses will help us make the show better, the best it can be. It only takes about three minutes, so it's really quick, but you'll get instant gratification that comes with knowing you helped us out. You can tell us how you really feel. Don't be too real with it, though. <laughs> I mean, just, you know. Be yeah. nice. Yeah. Easy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, be easy about the show. It helps get to know you better, because without you, we wouldn't be here. True. You know, so do it now. Take that survey at podcast1.com. That's podcast1.com. And keep those tweets and comments coming. That announcement brought to you by the fine folks at AfterBuzz TV. That's right. All right, so uh, Casey, how have you been? I've, been? I've been well, I've been doing very well. Good, Thank you. good, good. So we're gonna like take a trip back to Good old Salem, USA. Yes. Take a trip down memory lane. Yes, we yeah. are. Yeah. Nostalgia. Yeah, because so, like, yeah, because well, first officially next week will be six years ago. He started as Chad, and I believe it was Chad six. Peterson. I believe Chad Peterson Woods. Woods. Yeah, Woods. Chad Woods. Chad Peterson, Peterson Woods. Woods. Chad. Yes, he had many names. There was yeah, there was a long string of names there. Well, yes. one thing Days loves is giving people new names. <laughs> so do. Whoever has that job in Salem that is in charge of like changing like driver's license and all that kind of stuff, <laughs> like they. They must, they must have a really crappy job because yeah, well. they're like, oh, it's you again. It well, must be a full-time job because yeah. they, they do it so much. Because on some soaps, it's about the marriages, but not on days. No, it's, it's like, about the name changes. It's like, be, what name am I today? Right. Am right. I a Horton? Am I a Roberts? Am I, you know, what, are, what am I? Yeah, exactly. Yes. Right. Well, as hashtag Maxine's son, so I'm just saying, we won't, we won't go into that. So, Casey, uh, before you even started on Days, you actually auditioned for a different role on Days, right? Yes, I originally auditioned for the role of Tad. T. Uh, T. Yeah. Which, uh, which was played by uh, Brennan Coughlin. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, He's great. I love him. Uh, actually, I still talk to him today. Oh, nice. Um, but, uh, yeah, I, I auditioned for that, and I went in and read for producers, and... Um, I killed it too. I did so good. <laughs> I did so good. And I was like, yeah, I got this shit. Oh, sorry. I'm and, sorry. No, that's fine. Okay. That's fine. Um, and then, uh, um, you know, I, I got a, obviously I didn't get it. And right. Then, um, uh, about, about like three weeks later, I get a phone call saying, hey, uh, um, they want you to test for this new role, uh, mm -hmm. Chad, on days. And, uh, and yeah, of course. The rest is history. Exactly. See, I never knew that. I always thought you went in for Chad. No, not not originally. No. See, but Marty Marty saw something, and uh, I love Marty so much, and she yeah. gave me she gave me my shot. So I would always appreciate that. I actually met Marty. She's oh. actually she's like a cool chick. She's awesome. Yeah, I, I love Marty. Yeah. Um. So, what did you like about the character of of Chad? Because Chad was he went through some very interesting times. Yes, yes he did. Yes, he did. <laughs> While he was that's, in that's an understatement. Yeah. Yes. yes. <laughs> uh, what did I like about Chad? Um, uh, what I liked about Chad was that he's, he was very relatable. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. You know, there's uh, there was a lot of hurt in him that that uh, that I kind of identified with, and uh, um, it, you know, just just with his family and and uh, um, growing up, and you know, not really knowing who his family was, and mm -hmm. uh, actually having an, an asshole as a father, first of all. Yes. <laughs> um, yes. And uh, I think. Um, you know, just playing, just playing with those different colors, and yeah. it was it was a lot of fun and and a, a great learning experience to to go through that. Now, was days like your first um, your first uh, major 
like role? Because I know you had done like a few guest spots and stuff, but was that like your first like? Uh, yeah, that was my first, um, I guess, major role. Yeah, I, yeah. Mean, I did a couple guest spots on uh, like Nine Hundred Two One Zero and uh, oh, really? Wizards oh, of Waverly really. Place. Oh yeah, <laughs> so, I remember that so show. Funny. I, I, I remember look show. back on those clips, and I'm just like, oh my god, <laughs> <laughs> my hair. What was I? What was I thinking? <laughs> you had you had the 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 high. Yes, yeah, you did was, have the high hair. It was crazy. I mean. Um, uh, but uh, but yeah, Days Days of Lives was my first first home. Did you yeah. ever watch soaps before that, or hear them, or your parents? Um, my uh, my stepmom used to watch Days of Our Lives a lot, oh, and, okay. and she was a stay at home mom, and uh, she always had Days of Our Lives on in the background. Yeah, and so uh, it's kind of a coincidence that I ended up wow. being on the show. Did she freak out when you were like? And you got both oh, yeah, out. Oh yeah, of course. <laughs> you, you're popping champagne. Like, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I always I always envision like when whenever. Uh, there's a situation like that like the parents are like okay so when you get there yes. tell Stefano yeah. that I said hi <laughs> and then also oh I love Marlena would you like yes. actually will you have her call me yeah, yeah. Right. It, yes. it's, it's hilarious I think after the first first week or two after my my first episode aired mm-hmm. um, I had a I had a, a fan encounter who uh, who called me out on, on being uh, being a dick to me uh, pretty much and yeah, uh, yeah, it was just yes. like I was like what are you, t- what are you talking <laughs> yeah, about yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so I was pretty that was like my first fan encounter like someone screaming at me for being being mean to me yeah honestly. fans are really 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 invested yes. in yes, their characters yes. Yes. yes well you know I think they feel like they're close to these characters mm-hmm. because you're on yeah. five days a week they, they so watch they feel right like they know you they yeah. grow up with you and um, and uh, you know that's uh, of course now your stepmom didn't like call you and go, "What you did today on the show, I don't appreciate." <laughs> no, no, no. She, she definitely didn't do that. Oh, good. So she separated. Yeah, she separated. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's good. That's she good. didn't call you Chad all the time. No, for Chad, I mean, yeah. I, maybe, maybe when I was getting shot, maybe that was that was. Oh uh, yeah, I got shot. How many times did I get shot? Shot got like two or three. Yeah, times Yeah, you did. Shot. Yeah, several times. I'm like fifty cents. Just never yeah, right. <laughs> it, well, I mean, you ended up being a Demera, so like yeah, you know, for at least once or twice. It's exactly. almost like when when you have the Demera blood. Line. I mean, you're it's just gonna invincible. Bleed. Bullets are just coming your way. Yeah. Matter what. It's kind of like it's, like it's kind of like the bullet thinks like, oh, he's a Demera. Like, we're not gonna kill him. Yeah. Right. Just graze him. Just graze He'll him. He'll come back to life anyway. So that's <laughs> right. Come on. It's true. Speaking of, how did you feel when your your character um, became a Demera? Because all this time it was just kind of like uh, you had your parents and mm-hmm. and everything. Then suddenly it was like your mom was a prostitute, and <laughs> it was actually st- which. Uh, just, just to let you know, that oh, storyline yeah. still carries on. It still yes. carries on. Well, yes. well, well, not with your mom, but with another mom <laughs> that was apparently a part of the prostitution ring brought, never, never brought on by Stefano. Yeah, yeah. See, yeah. he had a lot of girls <laughs> of different races and right. ages, and yeah. Um, hey, my, well, I, I guess when when I first found out that I was a Demera, I thought, uh, wow, I you know I've, I've got a job for two more years. Yeah. <laughs> that makes sense. Yes, that makes sense. That's, that's a good thing. That's great. Big family. Yeah. <laughs> that's cool. Um, and second of all, I. Um, I really wanted to uh, work with James Scott, and yeah. um, I, and until this day, like he, you know, he's I will always consider him a great mentor and and, mm. and a brother. Yeah, um, and uh, I, I love that guy very much. Yeah, so. oh, he's James. James is really cool. I heard he's really nice. Yeah, very hurtful. Yeah. yeah, he. I mean, he just you know he just taught me the ropes, and he um, he helped me out a lot with with you know being a Demer and my scenes, and um, yeah. So I, I thank him. Yeah, I really do. We're if you can remember your first day on days, uh, like when you first got to set and your first scene. <laughs> My first day was like, all right, Casey, uh, take your shirt off and uh, you're going to make out with... <laughs> With Taylor in the back seat of his car. That's was it really? Yeah. That's that was right. that was my first day on set. I was, right. I was uh, had the makeout scene in the back seat of the car. What? How was that? Like going in and being like, all right, all like right. day one. I, <laughs> well, I remember I remember being very nervous, mm-hmm. um, and I remember everyone having a huge problem with her being fully clothed because she was 15 at that time. Yeah, oh, and okay, I was okay. I think I was had to be tw- just turning 21. I think. Okay. Yeah, you know, so like that was just kind of an issue for for a lot of people. But yeah. um, I, I mean, she's a professional, and, and it was uh, you know it was it was fine at the end of the day. So, <laughs> <laughs> do you still keep in touch with with Taylor? Uh, no, I haven't talked to her in a while, actually. Yeah. Um, uh, a couple of my castmates from my candy uh, bumped into her, and they, you know, that we said hi. But uh, yeah, that's, that's about it. Oh, she's doing other things though, right yeah, now. She's busy she too. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's almost sometimes like you know, days is like college, and then you graduate, mm-hmm. and then you get like 
It's a good springboard. Yeah, it's, because a, it's a boot camp. Yeah. You see, like, Ashley Benson and all, the, all these actresses that were on there and actors there. They're all doing other things. Yeah. yeah. They're yeah. actually working. No, it's a good uh, a springboard, I should say. Yeah. You know, it just launches you into uh, into other things. But uh, um, uh, Days of Lives will always be the foundation. So it must have also helped you exercise your memorizing muscle, learning all those pieces yeah. of dialogue a day. Yeah. It's different than nighttime. I remember it? the first week was hell because I, <laughs> I it took me five, six days to go, like, to memorize one script. Wow. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, it was funny because at the end, uh, I could memorize a script in half an hour. Mm. Oh, fun. oh, wow. And, yeah. and uh, um, it's just muscle. You know, you got to work that yeah. muscle. And yeah. The more you do that it, pace, the pace. Yeah. And, uh, and so, yeah, I'm very thankful. And to this day, I, I'm still like that, too. So i got a really good yeah. memory that way. Yeah, it works out, doesn't it? Because I know nighttime is way slower. They shoot y- way differently. Yeah, they do. Yeah. There's some similarities, but, yeah, okay. for the most part, it's um, it's different. Because with, with soaps, you know, you you have, like, one shot to get it right. Sometimes. Yeah, one shot. Uh, if you mess up, they just you go back and like redo that one line. <laughs> one, all right, all right, we're good, guys. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's it. Um, I remember the last the last week I, I was filming. I I think I filmed five or six episodes. No. Mm-hmm. And one day I had like three. Oh uh, I would say like probably seventy pages of dialogue oh in one day. God. Oh wow! Yeah, it was crazy. See, for me, I would be like, uh, cue cards? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't really. You know, they don't do those anymore, do they? Like, no, no. no. Yeah. No, well, that was all me. So yeah. well, how'd you get through that? What was one of the things that you did to kind of keep your mind from melding? I didn't leave the house for like two days. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Everyone's like, here's the thing. I'm like, no, man, I'm going with my lines. <laughs> I'm on day 70, three. Yeah. got 70 pages to go through. 70 pages, man. <laughs> um, no, I, it was, uh, it wasn't as hard as, as, as I thought yeah. it was going to be. Yeah. So. What what else did you learn just from your time on days? Because I know with it being like there's there's so much going on and it's like your first major role mm-hmm. and like, you know, there's a lot of pressure, I think, going into a mm-hmm. situation like that. At the end, like what what did you take from your experience? Mm, I uh you know, I, I uh I grew up there. You know, yeah. I, I think, you know, from twenty one to twenty four Five, twenty-six. Uh, you know, yeah. I I had a family. That was my family, and yeah. uh, um, you know, I created an, a a long-lasting bond um, with people, and um, mm-hmm. I got to work with so many talented and different actors. Yeah, um, that made me want to be better, and um, uh, and I think it just shaped me into the actor I am today. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I mean, I, ne- never in anything else will will there be a storyline like Days of Our Lives where like you. <laughs> You get shot in one episode, and your mom's like a stripper from another episode. Like it's just you, you guys, had a baby, yeah, I had you a lost baby, a baby, and died. I, yeah. I mean, it's just I was I was getting massaged in like a spa, like right. by, by Gabby. Like, yes, yes, I remember that. <laughs> the the wor- worst episode ever. <laughs> It was a trying episode, yes, for us viewers. That was, that but... was by far my least favorite episode I ever did. <laughs> well, well, was there ever like a storyline that you felt like, oh, I don't know about this for the character? Yeah, I mean that whole spa thing was just kind of yeah. kind of out there. Yeah. Um, and the spa <laughs> popped up randomly. Yeah, sure, did, like, sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah the spa here. Yeah. Yeah. Um, right. The. Uh, the disaster that was uh i mean as, as as exciting as it was how how ridiculous yes. it, it was um <laughs> i was down in that damn tunnel for like you were a long a week thing. yes you were You're <laughs> how am i not dead right well again you're, you're Demera. Demera. you guys don't right. die don't in die. fact you probably built the tunnel yeah. right you just did. didn't know it. yeah you that's know. why you were able to navigate through it <laughs> we had that damn iP- ipad that we're like looking through like <laughs> It's from good reception <laughs> down there. Right, yeah. so funny. Uh, uh, Eric and I were, were like joking around like how funny it would be if we were playing Angry Birds while we were walking there. <laughs> <laughs> we're, like, we're like running through the maze. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> now, I heard Eric Martzoff is really hilarious. I, camera, he's so, so funny. Yeah, he's, yeah. he is hilarious. Um, good guy. Yeah. Good guy. And I also want to ask you, speaking of former guest stars, you worked with David Leisure, who was a Joey Zuzu guy for years. <laughs> he played your original dad. Yeah, he, played my, he played my original dad. Everyone's like, yeah, have you seen his commercials? His Zuzu commercials? I was like, what are you talking about? Oh, yeah, so yeah. I Google him and I see them, I'm like, oh my. And I mean, for a long time. He yeah. played for a long time. He's, yeah. uh, he was so much fun to work with. Uh, yeah, great, great guy. Um, 
I w- it was it was an honor to work with him. Really. Um, so was he straight laced most of the time? He's just known for comedy. He's so very he... funny, very funny in person, um, mm-hmm. and it's so funny because in, in his acting in days, he was a total asshole. Yeah, yeah. totally. Yeah. <laughs> <You know? laughs> well, he was. Yeah. So um, totally opposite of how he normally because he always plays these like offbeat. Yes, he does. Yeah. Like characters. No, he's, like he kooky, was, goofy ones. He was good. He was fun to work with. And Megan Tuck, who of course people know from Judging Amy, uh, True Blood, mm-hmm. One Life to Live. How was it working with her? I mean, she's uh, she was a sweetheart. Um, she uh, she kind of took me under her wing too. And, oh, good. Uh, um, uh, really enjoyed working with her as well. I, I honestly no complaints. Um, oh, just a, a wonderful woman, and I'm uh, you know I'm really happy for her in, in her career. So. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. Um, I'm looking in our, our chat to Ooh, see what questions uh, people have. And one of them, I have to scroll up to see. Uh, we'll get to all of that later. Actually, someone, Casey, wants you to look into your camera there and just wave at them. So, look. <laughs> What's her name? Uh, she oh. is somewhere in here, but just say hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> It's for you, girl. He's actually here, live. Yes, I'm here. I'm he's here. Yeah. He's for you. Yeah. Um, let's see. Scrolling up. So many people have a lot of questions about eye candy, which yes. we will get to, we'll get to. Um, cool. later. Um, Chris Miller asks, who did you want to do scenes with that you didn't get a chance to have scenes with? Good question. On Days of Our Lives? Mm-hmm. Um... You worked with almost everybody, didn't you? Kind of. Uh, I, I I did, but you know, I I never got to work with Mark Hapka. Um, oh yeah, okay. really, I never did. I never got to work with Shelley. Oh, oh yeah, Shelley. Um, yeah. Um, Your stars didn't cross. They didn't cross, did they? Yeah. So That's definitely... weird because Salem is so small. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I guess I was. I guess I was still like the younger group from their oh, younger yeah. group. You know, oh yeah. So. Oh god. Okay. Yeah. 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 Um, okay. But. Um, I'm, you know, I, I really, uh, you know, I, I can't really complain because I got to work with, you know, I got to work with everybody. I didn't, I didn't work with Nadia. Uh, oh, she would have been fun to work with. Yeah. Oh, she's wonderful. Um, but, uh, but yeah, other than that. Yeah. Um, James Scott was the main one. Yeah. I de- definitely wanted to work with James. Um, Leah Mulder wants to know, do you miss playing Chad? Do I miss playing Chad? Um, I think, I just think, uh... I think I just I kind of grew up, and yeah. I think I kind of wanted to uh, um, explore other things. And I mean, I, I, Chad will always have a special place in my heart. Yeah. Um, but I think uh, I think I did what I I, I could with Chad mm-hmm. at that time, at, um, and I had to let it go. Yeah. You know, Is so. that I mean, and that's partly why you left the show, obviously, because right. you just I feel like as an actor, you feel like you have that moment, mm-hmm. like yeah. I just I feel like I wasn't getting the opportunity to uh, to showcase. You know my acting um, mm-hmm. is the way I wanted to yeah. on the show, and I I, I just felt like uh, it, it was just my time to, yeah. to go. You know, and um, as much as I love everyone that days, and 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 the, they treated me so well there. Yeah, um, I just uh, I knew it was my time. Yeah, you know, I had to go out there and ex- experience other things and learn and and make mistakes and um, and um, you know eventually get to where I want to be yeah. you know, in my career. I guess that you know isn't it usually an actor's life a nomadic kind of life in general supposedly you want to play yeah. all kinds of roles. Yeah, well I, I think you know a lot of people are like you're you're crazy man you're giving up the pay, the steady paycheck oh, and right. and um and I said yeah you're absolutely right but I mean you're you're not going to get anywhere if you just play it safe. You yeah. know it, it you get rewarded for for taking a leap, you know. I like that. A chance, That's so. good advice. I like that. Yeah. Uh, um you got, you got to risk it, man. You got to take a risk. So yeah, that's what I did. And uh, um, that's how I lived my life pretty much. And uh, it's always worked out for me. Somehow, somehow, right. way or another, it's worked right. out. Well, it definitely has. Like, cause since you left Salem, you've done guest spots on Glee, on Revolution, Glee, right, Body yeah. Proof. Uh-huh. Um, are there any shows currently on now that you would love to be a part of? Now... Um, I would say Walking Dead would be fun. Mm-hmm. Um, that would be such a fun role. Um, if Sons of Anarchy was still on, I would love to be on that show. Oh yeah. Uh, but as far as right now, um, House of Cards is really cool. Mm-hmm. I've been watching that. My brother really. loves that show. Yeah, it's. It, so I, I'm not too fond of politics, but uh, yeah. you know, I really love the acting in it, and I, I, yeah. I you know, I think Kevin Spacey's brilliant in it. Um, so House of Cards would be good. I'm trying to think of, of other shows out right now. I, know, I can see him on Veep, 
on Veep. Veep. Mm-hmm. I want to show it. Julia Dreyfus, it's so good. It's a, mm-hmm. it's a political show, but I can see you on it coming on and kind of disturbing people and okay. doing things in the White House. I'm I'm not good with this game because all of my shows that I watch are reality TV. <laughs> End days. The That's downfall what, of us. Well, yes, I know. Exactly. Well, it's bad. It's it's like my guilty pleasure. Mm-hmm. Like I, I I like to watch reality TV because it makes me realize that my life isn't so bad. It's <laughs> true. Yeah. So it's so. True. You know, it's a reminder of, yes, of not to be one fine. of those ratchet people on <laughs> on a reality show. Actually, there is a Walking Dead spinoff coming out, too. You there could is. Be, uh, it could be on that from L.A. Yeah, that'd be great. Yeah. Sign me up. <laughs> Sign him up. Get him some work. Sign him up. Well, one of the um, shows that you just did was MTV's Eye Candy. Uh-huh. And everyone has questions about your time on, on Eye Candy. How did you enjoy playing a, a detective? Um... That was that was probably one of one of the most challenging roles I've mm-hmm. I've done. Um, yeah. Just because of how quickly everything kind of spun out, and I literally got a phone call, and two days later I was on a plane flying to New York. Wow! And, oh wow! And I had to pack my bags for three four months, and, yeah. wow. and um, so I didn't I didn't get much preparation time, but so I was kind of just thrown in. Thrown into the wolves den. You mean to tell me watching the Salem PD didn't <laughs> yeah, you to be yeah, yeah, a stellar yeah. detective? Or Roman Brady uh, or Roman Brady. didn't teach you anything? Because <laughs> <laughs> we um, all know how great those people are. Unfortunately, it wasn't it wasn't a, a, a New York hipster cop. <laughs> you were you're very hipsterish. I was very so, hipster. Yes, the clothing, yeah. everything. Yeah, I mean, like even when I got the role, I, I had my side shaved and I was growing out the top and, and they just they're just like let's go with it let them, let them keep it so they did um, but uh, I'm sorry what was your question <laughs> just, how was it playing a detective yeah, it was uh, it was mm, I feel like a badass okay. I like oh, a badass yeah. I mean you definitely feel like you have some kind of a I don't know just a, a sway with people when, yeah. when you're wearing a badge and a gun yeah. you know and, um, but uh, um, I like playing I like playing roles where you can where the characters are relatable, yeah, and I th- I thought he was a very relatable character. I thought he was a very broken uh, character, and um, you know I just threw a lot of myself into that. Yeah, and uh, um, you know there's just there's more colors to the whole de- detective yeah. thing, you know. Yeah. So uh, um, and that's what I kind of uh, cashed in on. And how was it working with Victoria Justice? Yes, because I was... feel I feel like that was kind of a a new oh. role for her too, yes. because she was so like. Kitty, like with right. Nickelodeon, yeah. right? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Sure. And and then all of a sudden she's now in this like MTV, adult. Like, yeah, I, th- adult I think show. I think she surprised a lot of people. Yeah, you know, and and uh, she's such a genuine, uh, you know, beautiful person, and uh, um, she's very lovely to work with, and. Uh, um, you know, it was it was a blessing being on set with her every day. Mm-hmm. Uh, she's like a cool chick. She's super cool, yeah. super rad. Uh, yeah. Yeah. You know, she jokes about everything. And uh, does she sing on set? She eats like cr- <laughs> like so much food. I don't know where she puts it. <laughs> See, I wish I had that gene. Me too. Because yeah. anytime I look at pizza, I just gain five pounds. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it could be partly because I eat it, but at uh-huh. the same time, I look at it and it's yeah. just it's like five pounds. Are like, here we go. It's about yeah. to happen. Yeah. No, that wasn't the case with her. She uh, <laughs> she's always snacking on something um but she was great and yeah. uh um yeah you know i loved working with her did you want your characters to get together did i want our characters to get, get together sorry um for the storyline yeah, yeah i thought uh um but yes, I, for the storyline yeah, yes. no, no, <laughs> no, 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 what i'm saying was it was that i i wanted them to get together but not right away yes. you know I, I wanted i wanted the build-up to be just right and i wanted the fans to to get a chance to actually cheer for us and and um uh, and I think they did a really good job with doing that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think um, they did. So now everyone is very disappointed that the show got canceled. I know. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. Um, and everyone keeps asking, "Is there any hope for it? Like, what's happening to it? Is there any buzz about it possibly um, coming is, back?" Is or? there hope? Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Um, uh, you know, there. I, unfortunately, I can't really. I can't really say much right now. I, yeah. don't, you know, I, I honestly don't know. Yeah. Um, but there are people out there trying to fight to get it on some another network. But see, I think 
fans who are out there, if you guys want it back, you guys know that we love our hashtag. Yes, we so do. If you want to see eye candy back, hashtag bring back eye candy <laughs> yes. and tweet it to Casey and Victoria and everyone else on the cast and mm-hmm. MTV and whoever else you need mm-hmm. to voice your opinion to. Because yeah. fans now, oh, yeah. they have oh, such yeah. a huge voice Ooh, and a we, lot of things are coming back. Shows have been saved. We, yes. uh, we have such a, an, an undying love with our our fans and uh, I love our eye candy fans. They're, they've been so great and so supportive and um, mm-hmm. I I love them. So, what's the difference between your I Candy fans and Days fans? What have you found some some differences? They're uh, about thirty years apart. <laughs> I was going to say MTV. Twenty and, years yeah. twenty years yes. apart. Yeah. <laughs> um, which is which is totally fine. It's just different, yes. you know, different age groups. Um, but uh, it, it's cool to to hit a, a or cater to a different age group and mm-hmm. uh, reach out to you know younger fans and uh, you know I really appreciate it. I really appreciate the love and um, and support. Yeah. Um, we have a question here from uh, a fan, Leah, who asked, are you and Chandler Massey still making music videos? Not making music videos, unfortunately. Oh. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> you won't be able to see us in our underwear walking down the street anytime soon. <laughs> sorry, kids. Sorry. <laughs> they were hoping for a part two. Oh, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so funny. We filmed that in about two and a half hours, three hours, we filmed that, that oh, really? Enrique Iglesias video. Oh, yeah. So stupid. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I, I think halfway through, Chandler and I looked at each other like, what the hell are we doing? Like, we're just, <laughs> yeah, we'll yeah, just yeah, do yeah. it anyway. But, you already started, yeah. so yeah. I remember watching that when it first came out, and I giggled the whole entire I did, time. I did too. I, was, I, did I think too. it was the... I think you guys were having fun with it. It was fun to watch. Yeah, like, it was just a goof. It yeah. was just having fun. That's all it was. But you guys are still making music together. We right? are, yeah, you guys we, have a band together. Yeah, we do. Uh, we just recorded three new songs, and uh, one song just came out uh, about a month ago, and we got saw a couple, two more songs coming out soon. Um, that's that's strictly passion. We're just doing that because we love it and we love yeah. the music. Um, uh, unfortunately, I, you know, not unfortunately, I should say, but I booked days in the middle of us uh, writing music and stuff. Okay. Yeah. Not days. I'm sorry. Eye candy. Yeah, yeah. And so I, yeah. You know, I moved for about four months and came back. And so. can we mention the band name? And yeah, and I still rise. Yeah, uh-huh. right. I, I saw the video for the song. I think it was you put it out in May, right? The, or April the last the, the video. video yeah yeah it was about a year and a half uh, ago well, I discovered it about a month ago I oh, loved wow. it I did it was really good Thank you. I was thinking I mean because it's kind of metal it's it's metal it's it's hardcore but yes. I mean it's also got some you know some some melodies in there and uh, well it worked it totally worked I'm just looking looking at it as a soap you know star and then seeing that I was like oh okay yeah I think um, you know I think it's really important for me to show you know, show people that I'm not just a, a soap actor. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm. There's many other things and many other right. other different colors about me. Yeah. You know, and that uh, that I'm trying to showcase. So, would you like to be like at the same time actor and singer and have like concurrent careers? Would that be something you'd like to have? Or um, right like now, I'm mainly focusing on acting. Okay. Um, that's my main focus right now, and. Yeah. Uh, um, you know, I'm um, back in an acting class, and I'm just really, t- oh, okay. really taking it. Uh, I shouldn't say seriously, but I'm just more focused <laughs> yeah, right now. Yeah, it's on that. Yeah. Um, what other things besides acting and, and music do you enjoy, especially like during your downtime? Like, what do you just enjoy doing? Uh, eating. Oh my gosh, <laughs> Dude, I, I eat so much food. I it, it seems like the, the, like the older you get, the more you eat. I'm just like this is true. I'm just eat, I'm eating this so much. That's food. how that happens. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's what happens. Sure. Okay. Uh, but I, I do a lot of CrossFit training. Um, uh, I'm really, really into the to see. I CrossFit. commend people who do CrossFit because yeah. I drive by those people who are like <laughs> running outside and like doing all the CrossFit stuff, and I just say, "Good for you!" As I pull into the Burger King parking lot, that's like a couple of doors down. From yeah, the yeah I'm usually at Yogurt Land eating my yogurt, and they run around me because the it's, CrossFit things around the corner. Oh yeah. man, I, I'm yeah. ad- I'm addicted. Um, <laughs> but uh, besides that, uh, I I travel with my girlfriend see mm-hmm. her play her shows mm-hmm. um her and i like to eat a lot <laughs> and uh and yeah we you know just uh can we mention what she who shows is she a singer in a band sure or? sure uh she's in a group called cruella and oh i love them yeah oh um, you're with her yes yeah, i know who's yeah, i do not follow casey on social media. i do but i know who's with her i like mm-hmm. i like the i like the group a lot Great songs. Awesome. Thank you. Yes, thank I do. You. Love it. Uh, Love it. She's, she's amazing, and um, uh, I'm, I got really lucky with her. Wow. Mm. 
Well, she got really lucky with you as well. Yes. Oh, thank you. Exactly. I, felt like I, I, I always feel like guys are always like, I'm just so lucky. Right, so and there's someone that has to say, well, you know, she's yeah, lucky to have you too. Thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah. Um, there's, there's this one girl uh, in our chat named Blurta mm -hmm. who has <laughs> repeatedly posted. She said she would just die if you say this. I will never stop looking for you, Lindy. <laughs> That was like the that was like one of my last lines in the, yes. in the last episode. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's so funny how how many fans are putting what are they called mimes or memes? memes. Oh, the yes. memes. memes. Yeah, yes. yeah. They're like putting these memes of like of me saying that. It's... <laughs> I'm, mm -hmm. I'm I'm glad they like it. Yeah. Don't well. Don't kill her because she yeah. says she'll die if you say yeah, it. So, 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 so drunk, I don't yeah. want I don't want you to kill her. She's not Demira by saying it. I'll never stop looking for you. <laughs> oh, there we go. It seems and, to explode and scene. And thank you so much, Florida, for being here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm just kidding. I'm, I'm sure she's fine. Um, <laughs> Leah Mulder asks, and I know why she asked this question. Uh -oh. She asks, "Do you eat pizza rolls?" Uh oh, I'll do you eat pizza you. rolls? No. Yes. no. <laughs> you can never join us for our recap show. Okay? Yes, that's just a very <laughs> part. I'm, I'm on that paleo diet, so no, I do not eat pizza rolls. Oh, paleo diet. That's that's all we talk about our our pizza, pizza rolls, rolls yes, on on exactly. our recap show for days. Really? Which you guys can tune in every Sunday at 5 p.m. Yes, Pacific Standard Time. Yes, and so. Uh, Anytime there's a moment on days where it was kind of boring or lackluster, mm -hmm. we say we had a pizza rolls moment, which meant that we went to go make pizza rolls. <laughs> you know, the microwave rolls. or whatever. So, that, yeah. so you went and got pizza rolls about 20, 25 times. An Possibly. Episode. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, Especially great. last week. That's last week. Last week was kind of, kind That's of great. slow. Yeah. Kind it was of kind, of, slow kind of rough. Week. Yeah. Yeah. So random questions. Uh -huh. um, okay. What are five things that fans may not know about you? Mmm. Um, number five. Number five. I uh, uh, I've been skateboarding since I was ten. Yeah. They may not know that. Uh, I am a level one CrossFit instructor. Oh. Are you really? Mm -hmm. Okay. Huh. Mm -hmm. So I, I come to you, you'll totally be cool. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. Just know I'm not. I will never sign up <laughs> for that. I will. I will retweet or post about come take CrossFit with Casey. <laughs> But uh, I could never. <laughs> I'll, I'll tell you what. If I train you, you're not going to be able to get up for a week. Ooh, See, dang. and that would be a problem for me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yes. He has to get up. He has things so to do. That's mm, two. My, two three. Okay. Um, my favorite director is David Fincher. Oh, okay. okay. Love Fight Club. That's like I, okay. So David Fincher and my favorite movie is Fight Club. Okay. Okay. So okay. that was that's three right. A and B. Uh huh. Yes. Yes. <laughs> um, two more. I. Uh, I love Heath Ledger. Oh, yes. okay. The Joker was probably my my all time favorite role. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I can do a really good impression, but I am not going to do it right oh, now. Dang. I was like, <laughs> I'm not. I was like, Casey. Casey knows me well enough oh, to know yeah. that the second he says he can do an impression, I'm always like, Are you going to do it? Well, you made me do the Fire Marshal Bill one for Jim Carrey. Oh, you I did. did. Oh, yeah. well, I interviewed Casey years ago for my web show, Lounging with Telling, yes. and he said that he. Uh, one of his favorite actors was Jim Carrey. Mm -hmm. I can see and that. And yeah. I was like, can you do an impression? And he did Fire Marshal Bill. Oh, my God. He I also, just... in that episode, uh. tried to teach me how to skateboard. Oh, there you go. Yeah. That's right. I did. Yes. He he did his best. <laughs> I failed as a student. But you can see that episode because uh, yeah. it was a fun one. Yes. <laughs> yeah, 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 that was a great interview. I loved it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and one last thing that fans don't know about you. One last thing. Um, I have an obsession with leather jackets. Really? Oh, yeah. Okay. I have about five leather jackets, six, six leather jackets, and I just swipe. I just wear them. <laughs> I do. <laughs> like, I, I don't know what it is. I just love leather jackets. Interesting. Know. You know, we, I think we all have our things. Like, mm -hmm. I, I actually love outerwear. Like any jackets, vests, uh -huh. whatever. Like, I, I feel like I would go out and buy more of those than I would yeah. clothes. If that makes sense. That makes sense. It does. Yeah. Like yeah. I would buy another jacket before I buy another shirt. Okay. Oh, how funny. Yeah. And I'm like, I, I haven't. And in LA, you, in don't, LA. you don't wear jackets. <laughs> like, like, it doesn't even get yeah. cold enough to wear a jacket. It's so funny seeing people like buy pea coats. It's like, it's right. like, it's like homie, you're never going to wear it here. You're never going to get it right. Ever. Are you, oh, you have a pea coat? <laughs> He's probably, probably just travel, like, right? I do. <laughs> you travel, right? Well, I do. Places? Okay, so listen, okay. I, will, I will tell this story. There's this one jacket I saw in H&M. It's like, it's, it was green. It was like a pea coat. It had like different color. Like It had like leather sleeves and it was green. Okay. It had this big collar. And I was like, <laughs> I really want it. 
And I was like, but it's stupid to buy because it's yeah. never going to get cold right. enough to wear it. I mean, it was like thick. It was almost yeah. like I need to be in Denver for to like wear this jacket. <laughs> and I went to the store again. I ended up buying it. And the second a wind came through LA, I put it on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I was like, I am wearing it. Isn't that funny how like everyone freaks out once it starts like a drop of rain comes? Yeah, or, like, we were just about that. It was yes. like, oh. Okay. On this jacket. Jacket. No, I, I'm from Colorado. I love it. Oh, there you go. See, yeah. I'm you used to it. Um, now, what uh, other projects and things that do you have coming up? I know. Are you allowed to talk about? The, yeah, I, okay. I just notice how I back. I yeah, mean, I know you back. I was like, where are you going? Like, I definitely didn't yeah. ask like, him about going? this before, but like the police are gonna come in and like yeah. recommend like, all, you. All of a sudden, they're like, he can't talk about that. Like, sorry. Yeah, no, sorry. I, I can talk about it. I, I just uh, got done shooting a film um, called Advance and Retreat mm -hmm. with uh, um, a very talented actress named uh, Riley Vocal. She's on. Uh, um, <laughs> what the hell is that show name? The spinoff of Vampire Diaries. Oh, um, the originals. Oh, thank, um, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> She's on the originals. The control booth. And uh, um, uh, so yeah, we played opposite each other, and uh, we just got done shooting the movie wow. last week. Very good. Wow. Very good. And uh, yeah, so that's what I just finished. Just finished doing that. Nice. Do you want to do any comedies? Do you want to do some um, comedic stuff? Um, I would definitely be up for it. Yeah. 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 I would. I want to see you do some comedy stuff. Well, maybe we'll see. It's coming up. I think, I think you could do it. Yeah, I think, I think you down do. inside you have a funny moment. You know, yeah, definitely. I definitely do. It's just uh, I, I haven't been able to <laughs> showcase <laughs> showcase <laughs> it. <laughs> it's in there. I know it is. Bring it out. Come on, it's come in there somewhere. People. He can do it. Put him on Modern Family or something. He can. He can do it. <laughs> so I'm giving you work. Trying to give you work. Uh, quick shout out to Madison Firth. Hello, Madison. Hello, Madison. That Hello, is your Madison. shout out from all of us here. Hello. Um, we're going to take a few more questions uh, before we wrap things up. Um, a lot of people think for you said you already said your favorite movie, and that mm -hmm. was Fight Club. Fight Club. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the Dark Knight. And the Dark, Dark Knight. Knight. Yeah. Um, Actually, oh, yeah. Here's a good one. Zoe one zero one one five asks your favorite song by Cruella. Um, live. That's mm, mine. <laughs> um, human. I would say that's that's probably my favorite one. That one. That one. I connect to the most. I would say. Yeah. It's a beautiful song. Yeah, it's a, good it, song. It, a very beautiful song. Um. Hello, Andrew. Hello, everyone. Hello to everyone who's joining us in our yes. live chat. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. I for love all your this, questions. This, yeah. Uh, these are cool questions. Live chat. Yeah. These, these are good. Uh, the fans are, are very dedicated. Now, this is like the ultimate question, which everyone gets asked this question here at our After Buzz TV <laughs> Spotlight on. Now, we know that Billy Flynn has taken over the role of Chad. Uh -huh. <clears throat> but let's say if for any reason he gets stuck in a tunnel and dies and they have to bring <laughs> Chad back. That's so morbid. Well, I mean, not Billy dying, oh, you're not but, Billy, like, no, but Billy, Chad Billy, Billy, Billy dying. Oh, right. And they have to bring, and Chad is being brought back. Would you ever be open to going back to days? Um, it just depends. Yeah. I I mean, I would, I, I'm, I'm going to pull Justin Bieber and, and never say never. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, but, uh, <laughs> you know, uh, Jay Biebs. Uh, Jay Biebs. Um, but uh, as of right now, I probably wouldn't. Yeah. But um, um, I'm, that's not saying I, that I wouldn't, you know, later on in time. Yeah. You know, but uh, um, I mean, always keep that door open. I would love to. Always keep the door open. They could always bring you back as a different character because they've done that a few oh, times. Oh, yes, yes, they have. People, which like, can, it yeah. can be very confusing mm -hmm. sometimes. Like Roman like, and he was Chris years yeah. ago. Yeah. Judy, yeah. Judy Evans was, uh, of course, Adrian. And uh, Bonnie. And then they brought her back as Bonnie Lockhart and then they brought her back again as, as, as Adrian. Adrian. I loved her as Bonnie Lockhart. Isn't that crazy? You know what? That. I, because you guys <laughs> know, I love to add to my own yes. storyline. Yes. The hashtag <laughs> Maxine Sun storyline. Um, Casey, you're not familiar with this, but... Yes. You know, one day I think I'm going to be on days and I have to kind of help the writers determine how I fit mm -hmm. on days. So there's a, a nurse, Maxine, who's on there. Love and, Maxine. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's well, right. You're okay. on there. Mm -hmm. And um, I feel like I could play her son. Mm -hmm. So I think what we could do is that whenever I arrive in Salem, I could arrive with a friend and that could be you. And we'll have to give you like a new name, like... Um, uh, uh, okay, insert new name here. And so we could come back, and then I will find out that I'm a Demera, 
because that's my goal yeah. is to find out that to be Mac- a Demera. Yeah. Wow. Yes. The the whole storyline is that Maxine was actually a part of the prostitution <laughs> ring that like your mom and Kate and like you know, all the all. other ones yes. were a part of. She was actually the madam. She wasn't actually a prostitute. No. She was Maxine. A- yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then uh, and then uh, she went off and had me, and then she came back, and then I come back and find her, and then realize who my dad is, and then I just bring a friend along, and that and you can be that friend. I'm down. Right Hashtag down. Maxine Sun. You That's see right. how this storyline just keeps growing? More black Demiras. More black Demiras. Yeah, why yes. not? We haven't had no Lexi anymore. No Lexi. Oh, I, I love you Lexi. You guys got pretty close to yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, as, as she, characters and also probably in real life. Yeah, I, I was really, really sad when she left. Renee Jones, I mean, she was that so beautiful. That had to be the saddest scene. Oh my God, I know. I bawled like a baby. Ever. Like a when, baby. Well, A, when they decided to kill off Lexi, right. mm-hmm. I think fans were like, oh. and then when right. it happened, yeah. and just her outside, and oh, Abe I was know, just... I know, I was, I know. That was like one of the few times I got teary-eyed mm-hmm. on days. The first time was during... Uh, the Salem stalker and everyone was going to like <laughs> yes. New Salem New Salem and like and they were killing him by okay they were killing him by uh, they were killing him by um, by what they were like Maggie hit by the bottle and oh, like, yeah. uh, Alice in the Donut yes yes <laughs> and and that was kind of like the internet was kind of popular see I'm kind of dating myself yeah I know uh, it was kind of popular and so like that was the first time I remember going online to find out mm-hmm. were they fired is there a contract right, over? Right. Yeah. Like, what was happening? I read the magazines. That's how old I am. I mean, I was reading the Soap Opera oh, Digest. Soap Opera Digest? Digest? Yes, yeah. and seeing what was going on. Mm, I know, I know. Mm, yeah, I know. Mm, mm. Sorry. Well, uh, before we uh, depart, uh, first of all, Casey, thank you so much you for much. joining us. Thank you for having me. Reliving your time on Days of Our Lives. Yeah, it's been been quite some time. Yeah, yeah. 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 Um, before we head off, let everyone know where they can find you, where they can keep in touch with you through yeah, your Twitter, sure. Instagram. Uh, yeah, hey guys, uh, you can reach me at... Uh, Casey Diedrich, that's uh, that's my Twitter handle and Instagram <laughs> handle. Keeps handle. it real simple. Yeah, yeah, real really simple. simple. <laughs> um, and yeah, you can uh, follow my shenanigans on there. And James, Black Hope LA on Twitter. And of course, you guys can find me on all social media platforms: Instagram, Twitter. YouTube and Facebook at Lounging with Tony and of course my website loungingwithtony.com Thank you guys again for tuning in to After Buzz TV Spotlight On with Casey Diedrich We hope to see you guys this Sunday and every Sunday for our Dishon Days recap Sunday every 5 at blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Sunday at 5pm <laughs> Pacific Standard Time We'll see you then Take care guys Thank you Thank you <laughs>